What are the top three programs in Ontario to convert to permanent residency for international students, graduates, or business entrepreneurs? Did you study only a one-year diploma or certificate in Ontario and are not eligible under the Ontario Provincial Nominee International Student Stream? Or are you a business person here on an ICT or C10 or 11 federal entrepreneur work permit and seeking alternative methods to outside of express entry in order to convert to permanent residency. Are you a student or worker who cannot obtain enough points in express entry for 2023 because it's so high? You're inside Ontario or planning to be. This video is for you. Hello, my name is Reza and I work with the Ingwe immigration team helping applicants move to Canada. Whether it's for yourself, your kids, your business, or all of the above, we make it happen. Let me make this clear. I'm not an actual full-time YouTuber, but I work hands-on with our licensed team here in Toronto, working on actual applications and communicating with the immigration department, both in overseas embassies and inside Canada, on a daily basis on behalf of our clients. These videos are made for the purpose of sharing our hands-on immigration knowledge with our worldwide audience. And if you're thinking about immigrating to Canada, we're here to help. Get a free email assessment by filling out the form below this video. Here are the top three programs to consider for your permanent residency. This will be a high level overview of what these programs are and why we recommend them for your path to permanent residency in this specific province. Number one, the Provincial Nominee International Student Stream. The reason we think this is a suitable program for many applicants is that the language requirements are not mandatory if you have graduated from a public post-secondary institution inside Ontario. You will require an employer to sponsor you with an offer of employment, but unlike Express Entry, you require no previous work experience or proof of language. Please be aware that the downside of these programs is that they do not accept most of the one-year postgraduate diploma or certificate programs and you'll be inside the provincial nominee points-based pool. You will need to work for your employer in the same position until your PR is finalized. And if you did study for a one-year program at a college or university inside Ontario and are not eligible under the condition set for the international student stream here, no problem. Just hack your way through the foreign skilled worker stream in the Ontario PNP program. By having your employer here sponsor you for PR if you have at least three years of prior work experience in the same role that you've been offered a job inside of Canada. And that work experience could be a combination of both outside or inside of Canada. Number two on our list is the master's graduate program under the provincial nominee system in Ontario. This is one of our favorite programs in Ontario. The reason for this is that it's the only program in all of Canada that allows you to study any master's graduate program in a public university in the province and apply for your PR right after successfully graduating. Meaning you can actually study for a general MBA, Masters of Business Administration, at universities, for example, University of Windsor, Guelph, Ryerson, York, Toronto, and so forth, just to name a few, and be eligible for permanent residency right after graduation without a job offer or any work experience. This is the only program in all of Canada that offers this, which is why it's our favorite for mature students. The downside is you still need to go through the provincial points matrix and pool to be invited, but if you've completed a master's program, you most likely check all the boxes to be invited and gain enough points under this specific PR stream for Ontario. Of course, the same stream is also offered for PhD graduates as well in Ontario. Last but not least, number three, we believe the entrepreneur program in Ontario is an interesting option for the following applicants because of these reasons that we're outlining. This program is open to entrepreneurs from overseas and the interesting part here is even if you're a graduate from any other province in Canada, you could 
technically apply under this stream for your PR as well. No limitations or barriers. Another interesting feature of the Ontario Provincial Entrepreneur Program is that any applicants who are inside Ontario under the intercompany transfer C10 or C11 federal entrepreneur work permits can also convert or switch to this provincial entrepreneur program and obtain their PR without going through express entry. There you have it folks, a quick crash course and why we believe these are the top three programs inside Ontario that would allow you to apply for your direct permanent residence. Yes, it was quick, simple, and to the point. If you're in Ontario already or going to arrive soon, let us know which program you're planning to apply and why. We'd love to hear from our audience. If you're thinking about immigrating through studies, business, family, sponsorship, or skilled immigration, you are at the right place. I can guarantee you only one point. You will know what to expect, the entire process clearly laid out for you, all the risks and expenses identified, no surprises, just results. Our team speaks over eight languages and we help applicants from over 47 different countries during their immigration process and that number is increasing. Click the link below this video and get a free email assessment. And if you're interested in the Canadian Startup Visa program, we will be hosting our next webinar on December 27th, 2022. We will update you on the latest news, IRCC refusals, trends, and key criteria to keep your startup group from being on the IRCC hit list. Find the link below this video to subscribe to this webinar. And if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one with me or someone from our immigration team, you can book a session using the consultation link in the description of this video as well. And of course, if you have any general Canadian immigration questions, remember we're here weekly on our live session on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram every Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern time, where we answer all of your immigration questions for free on the spot. Take care, we'll see you soon.